Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map according to cookpolling.com. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe. And also, if you would like to support us, send a super thanks and a super sticker. We would greatly appreciate it if you guys helped us and you need to subscribe like my beautiful wife said because we are live streaming after we vote on November 5th, 2024. We are live streaming the election maps as the polls are coming in through different media outlets. CNN, ABC, NBC, Fox News, One News America, the rest of Newsmax. We're going to be filling in an election map on a live stream and you guys can take bets. You guys can uh, throw out support for your candidate of choice, get in arguments, disagreements, debates in the chat. It is your room to express yourself and your political beliefs. Now, Cook Polling is supposed to be, as they say, the Cook Political Report is the gold standard in covering campaigns. According to KQED's Political Breakdown, Tyson Redpath, turn off cable news, tune out other political punditry, do yourself a favor, and subscribe to the Cook Political Report. It is the foremost authority in Washington on election analysis, forecasting, and political race handicapping. And these maps are going to be filled in according to cookpolitical.com. Let's fill in that beautiful map. It has Washington State with 12 electoral votes, three clicks, which is very light blue, for Kamala Harris. Oregon with eight electoral votes is three clicks, light blue, for Kamala Harris. This is something you guys don't really see us do that often. California with 54 electoral votes is two clicks, which we've never seen before, for Kamala Harris. Hawaii with four electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska with three electoral votes is two clicks, something we've never seen before, red for Donald J. Trump. Montana with four electoral votes is three clicks, red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho with four electoral votes is just red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Utah with six electoral votes is two clicks, Red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada, according to realcookpolling.com, Nevada is three clicks red for Donald J. Trump. That six electoral votes goes to Donald J. Trump in Nevada. Arizona, according to realcookpoliticalpolling.com, <laughs> Arizona and its 11 electoral votes are three clicks red for Donald J. Trump. Colorado with 10 electoral votes are two clicks blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico with five electoral votes is three clicks blue for Kamala Harris. These polls update daily, so they might not be um, the same when you check at six o'clock or nine o'clock or 12 o'clock or the next day. So they are always updating daily, just to throw that disclaimer out there. North Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota with three electoral votes is two clicks pink for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska with its electoral votes is two clicks red for Donald J. Trump. The uh, first district of Nebraska is two clicks red for Donald J. Trump. And the third district of Nebraska, according to realcookpolling.com, is two clicks blue for Kamala Harris. The weirdest election map for sure that we've filled out so far. Kansas with six electoral votes is two clicks red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma with seven electoral votes is just red for Donald J. Trump. Texas with 40 electoral votes is three clicks red for Donald J. Trump. Minnesota with 10 electoral votes is two clicks blue for Kamala Harris. Wisconsin, according to the real Cook polling, or Cook political, <laughs> is uh, three clicks red for Donald J. Trump. Michigan with 15 electoral votes is three clicks red for Donald J. Trump. Iowa with six electoral votes is two clicks red for Donald J. Trump. Missouri with 10 electoral votes is three clicks red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas with six electoral votes is just red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana with eight electoral votes is two clicks red for Donald J. Trump. Illinois with 19 electoral votes is two clicks blue for Kamala Harris. Indiana with 11 electoral votes is two clicks red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio with 17 electoral votes is three clicks red for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance, who will be a eulogy. West Virginia with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. 
Kentucky with eight electoral votes is two clicks red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee with 11 electoral votes is two clicks red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi with six electoral votes is two clicks red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida with 30 electoral votes is three clicks red for Donald J. Trump. Georgia with its 16 electoral votes is two clicks red for Donald J. Trump. South Carolina with nine electoral votes is two clicks red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina with 16 electoral votes is three clicks red for Donald J. Trump. Virginia with 13 electoral votes is three clicks blue for Kamala Harris. Pennsylvania with 19 electoral votes, oh wow, is four clicks red for Donald J. Trump according to cookpolitical.com. Wow, um, New York with 28 electoral votes is two clicks blue for Kamala Harris. Uh, we're gonna go to New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, and Rhode Island, the rest are blue. And then two clicks for Vermont. VT at top, two clicks. There we go. And then blue, blue, and let's see. For Delaware and New Jersey and Connecticut, that one, one more click. New Jersey, one more click. And Connecticut, one more click. Up, oh, CT. Yep. And Maine, as of their polling, oh God, wow. Maine, the whole state is blue. And Maine itself, the biggest part, is light blue. So one more click. So this is according to Cook Political. I called it real Cook Political because it's supposed to be the most realist polling besides the Rasmussen report. This is the weirdest map, and some people are asking about probably Nebraska at large. Nebraska at large is, um, let's see, hang on, I'm sorry, I'm trying to read this. Well, it doesn't have, to my knowledge, Nebraska at large. So we're not going to fill Nebraska at large in. Um, so yeah, this is the current map according to cookpolitical.com. It has Kamala Harris at 227 electoral votes to Donald J. Trump at 309 electoral votes as of today. I am President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are out. Confused as hell about this map. This is bullshit.